Hey, it's Lacey and welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide for how to make gasoline in Townstar. To make gasoline, I recommend you follow these steps in order to avoid unnecessary cost per minute for buildings you can't yet use. I learned this the hard way and I'd like you to avoid my mistakes. I'll show you how to make gasoline production happen and discuss each building involved more thoroughly shortly so you can place your buildings most effectively. You'll need at least $70,000 to build all the buildings required for your gasoline production, and that isn't counting wages per minute. I'd recommend beginning to work toward gasoline production as soon as you have steady income in place. Ideally, this should begin around the same time your gasoline supply is halved. An oil pump costs $1,250 and requires three wood to build and placement beside a road. It doesn't need a paved road, even though it says on paved roads that most industrial buildings will require a paved road, so go ahead and save your money for that paved road and simply do a dirt road to save yourself some cash early on. If you have the funds to do a paved road, feel free to go ahead, but it's not required. Your oil pump will output crude oil, which will be transferred by a worker once you have one, to your fuel storage. Note the oil pump has a three square pollution radius. For this tutorial, I'm not really paying attention to pollution, um, I'm just trying to show you what's necessary to get gasoline production underway, but you'll want to keep that in mind for a more efficient layout. After your oil pump begins production, you'll want to get a worker's house and you'll need to have a road to get a worker's house built. A worker's house costs $2,500 plus $60 per minute for wages and one wood to build. This is who will be transporting your industrial products, such as the crude oil that the oil pump is making. Fuel storage costs 15,000 and five wood to build, though you're provided with one fuel storage to begin the game, so the necessity for one isn't immediate. Though once fuel production gets started, I'd recommend considering adding a second fuel storage if you have the funds, because this will fill up pretty quick. Your crude oil, gasoline, and petroleum will all be stored here. A wind turbine costs $2,500 and one wood to build. It must be placed roadside. Your wind turbine will output energy, and that's needed for making gasoline. Note that it has a wind block of two squares and produces no pollution, so feel free to place it anywhere out on the outskirts of your map or somewhere where there's not a lot going on, or wherever you have place. It really, you know, it's up to you. But um, for this, I'm going to be putting it near my other industrial buildings. A warehouse costs 10,000 gold and three wood to build and you'll want to build a warehouse as soon as you have your wind turbine completed. If I were to do this again, I'd recommend placing your warehouse in close proximity to your other industrial buildings to reduce your workers' travel time between those buildings. Your warehouse will store up to 20 of any of your industrial goods, such as energy produced from your wind turbine, as well as your water drums, which we'll talk about more on that shortly. We'll need another road for our next building. You can use a dirt road and upgrade it for a fee, or buy the paved road directly for $10,000, and it takes three wood to build. The refinery must be built on a paved road. It costs $15,000 and five wood to build. The cost to run this building is $200 per minute, making it rather pricey. I recommend you wait to build this building until after you have your water facility built, which is needed to run the refinery, to avoid paying the building fee before it's able to actually operate. I made this mistake as I'm showing you here, so hopefully you can avoid it. The refinery also has a four square pollution and a four square shade wind block, so keep that in mind. I'd like to mention that the refinery is a tall building, so placing it directly beside my wind turbine will negatively affect my turbine's production speed. I'd recommend leaving two blocks of space between the wind turbine and any other tall buildings, but like I said before, I'm not really worried about this here, I'm just showing you what's needed. In the refinery crafting menu, you can see we can craft petroleum, gasoline, or jet fuel. However, as I mentioned before, we're missing production of our water drums, so we'll need to remedy that situation before we can proceed. A water facility costs $10,000 and one wood to build. It has a $50 per minute operations cost. It should also be noted that in order pr to produce water drums, you'll need three water, so I'd recommend building it near water to make it self-sustaining. You can see where I placed mine, it's getting one water from each adjacent marsh and one water from the nearby pond, so it will immediately start producing water drums which will be transported to our warehouse for storage. Again, I'd recommend having your warehouse near your industrial buildings. I'll probably build another one close by to avoid all the back and forth time, and a second one is usually a good idea because they fill so quickly anyway. Next, we can start production of our petroleum, which is required to make our gasoline. 
It takes two crude oil, one water drum, and two energy to produce. I've seen people use two refineries, one to make petroleum and one to make gasoline, and I'd recommend doing that if you have the money and want to save some time. Now that we have made petroleum, we can go back to our refinery and choose to stop petroleum production and start gasoline production. Again, this would be much more efficient if you had two refineries, but if you only have one, have a supply of petroleum on hand. But for this tutorial, we're going to get at it right away. We only have one petroleum made, but it will show you how to make gasoline. Now you can see we have our gasoline and our worker will take it to our fuel storage. So that's how you make gasoline step-by-step -step in Townstar. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. It helps the channel a lot. And also subscribe to see more videos like these. And uh, you can also find me on Twitter and TikTok at Satoshi Gaming TV. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again next time.